Believe it or not, one of the biggest dangers in the mountains is river crossings. People die every year, even in the UK, from crossing rivers. So the safest way is to not cross the river in the first place. So plan, in the planning stage of your journey, try and avoid crossing the river. Or if you're going to cross the river, use a bridge or somewhere safe. If you find yourself faced with a big water crossing, the first thing you should do is walk up and downstream and try and find a bridge or maybe like here there's a tree that's, uh, that's fallen down, it makes a great bridge there. If there's no obvious kind of crossing point like a bridge or a tree, then you're going to be looking for the safest place to cross. That's the shallowest place you can find and where the water is moving as slow as possible. Okay. Now you don't want to cross the river barefooted because you'll injure your feet, you'll slip, you'll fall and that's you swept away. But the same token, I personally don't like to cross my walking boots on because they're wet for the rest of the day. So if I know I've got a river crossing and I can't get round it, what I'll do is I carry these little things. I think they, oh, they weigh nothing uh, and they pack, pack up really small. They're basically gymnastic slippers. And if you're into your barefoot training, you can spend 120 quid on those five finger Vibram trainers, or these cost about nine quid off, uh, off Amazon. And they're rubber sole, so they're nice and sticky on the wet rocks. So slip your uh, gymnastic slippers on, or your walking boots if you've nothing else to say, don't cross with bare feet. And then either get a walking pole, like I've got, or if you haven't got one of those, not a drama, just grab a stick from somewhere. And what you want is sort of brace yourself. So what you'll do is, after you roll your trouser leg up, hide your socks away, and you'll face upstream. The reason you face upstream is twofold. One, it's a big, heavy, fast flowing river. There can be dairy coming at you. Big uh, big bits of, of, of tree and logs and that sort of stuff. And you want to be able to see them coming so you can try and avoid them. As well as that, if you think about it, this is my token river here. The water's flowing in this direction, so it's forcing your knees lock to lock out straight. If you're facing in this direction, the current in the river is going to take the needle under you, knock you over and you swept downstream. So, the idea is with your stick or your pole, use that as a brace. Remember you've got that current coming towards you, so you step in carefully and be prepared for the force of the water and you brace yourself against that pole and then you move one thing at a time. So as a foot, make sure you're solid, okay, move your pole, brace into it, move your other foot, make sure it's solid. Next foot, pull, brace, get a good position, move that foot again until you eventually cross. Again, keep an eye upstream for any debris that's been washed down.